Scouts in the largest planned power outage in state history. It's just hours away from right now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. PG&E plans to cut the lights to 500,000 customers across Northern California. Those outages are happening between midnight and 4 a.m. Now, portions of 34 counties will be impacted if fully implemented. Some 800,000 homes and businesses will be without power, and the outages could last for days. From how long the winds will last to what services will be down, we've got you covered. We begin tonight with CBS 13 Steve Large. He is live for us in El Dorado County tonight with the schools being forced to cancel classes. And Steve, a lot of parents scrambling tonight. Yeah, I'm live on the Oak Ridge High School campus. And as you can see, right outside the attendance office, there will be no roll call here tomorrow. These doors are going to be staying closed. The school district here sent out alerts to families through email and cell phone, forcing those families to find alternative plans for their children starting tomorrow. The large portions of the power grid serving the district will be shut down, impacting all of our schools. Oak Ridge parent Heather Cadger received the school closure alert on her cell phone just before pickup at her son's high school football practice. I don't understand why PG&E is doing it. It doesn't make sense. Frustrated by the utility's public safety power shutoff and now forced to find other plans for her teen son. The power shutoff put thousands of El Dorado County parents in a similar position. I'll likely be working and, and I'll have to figure out um, maybe relying on my friends. Well, I'm probably going to have a house full of kids since I'm a stay-at-home mom. Early communication to our families is critical. El Dorado Union High School District Superintendent Dr. Ron Carruth says he made the decision to close his schools as quickly as possible after PG&E confirmed the massive power shutdown. Number one, our technology infrastructure, our ability to feed students if the power goes down, just simply aren't present. For students, the power shutdown means more shutdown. But I, no early morning classes. Well, yeah, we were definitely hoping for school to be canceled. I mean, it's kind of every teenager's dream to not have to go to school. For parents, the closures are creating problems. I'm hoping that this is not a pattern in the future. Now they're going to have to make up the day. No PG&E power, no school. Is it the new norm in California's fight against extreme fire danger? And back live at Oak Ridge High School, where you can see some lights are still on. We're told that's going to stop sometime after midnight tonight. And Oak Ridge and all the schools in this district will be letting parents know by 8 p.m. tomorrow if the school closure will be extended by another day. We will all be waiting and watching. All right, Steve Large reporting live for us in El Dorado County. Steve, thanks.